Well, this is kind of weird. When's the last time you guys saw me do a vlog on this channel? It's been a long time, but if you guys have been watching my second YouTube channel, Michael and Media, we talked about moving the vlogs in and out of both channels, but everything on Smurf and WRX would be like car focus. So you guys will get to hang out with me throughout the day, but then I'll have an entire segment of just talking about some sort of car topic. I think it'll be a good way to kind of inject my personality back into this channel because a lot of you guys see me as like straight up just like car content, car content. It gets kind of boring, kind of mundane. So why not mix up the game a little bit, right? Whoever wants to go outside. As you guys can tell, I am still freaking sick, but I'm still cranking out daily vlogs for you guys. That's Turbo, if you guys have forgotten. He's freaking a giant. He's a fit in the palm of my hand. Now he's a 75 pound pit bull chasing a basketball. Today's a pretty interesting day. I just got off the phone with TJ Hunt. We're talking about some stuff that I can't really mention. This is really freaking weird. Why is my painting hung this way? Look at this. That is weird. This is weird because I don't hang my painting this way. Who the hell moved it that way? Yeah, that was random, sorry. Um, I'm gonna head over to the Primal Gym headquarters in a little bit, so I got, I'll take you guys with me over there. We'll drop by it with the guys. I'll show you guys some Tuna Crate stuff. I know you guys have been asking, like, what's new with Tuna Crate? Because it's my birthday month and we're celebrating it all together. But let's head to the room. For those of you who are kind of new to the channel, this is my kind of my home office here. This is my Marone, and I haven't hung this up yet, but this is my 100,000 subscriber uh, plaque from YouTube. You guys see right there. You guys have gotten me there for a very long time on Smurf and WRX. It was a very lovely goal that I can't believe I even accomplished. Um, this is where I sit for the most of the day. And as I sit here, I work. Um, I wanted to show you something. If you guys know Tuna Crate in the box, in each of the inside of the box, we always have a quote. And since it's going to be my month, the guys designed this for me. I thought it was fucking hilarious. But look, it's me. It says make it happen because that's all what I always say and it's my Subaru on, the, on the, the right side. This is significant because usually the quotes are very like quote-like. Like I just quote, name, quote, guy name, whatever, you know. So this, we changed it up completely. I thought it was kind of funny, kind of, kind of hilarious. So I'll show you guys this one. We'll head to the warehouse in a little bit. I just got a text from TJ Hunt. Got to do some work with them. So let me make a phone call real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I think it's time for me to head over to Parma Driven headquarters. It is about 1.25 right now. And you guys going to hate me. Yeah, you guys know what time it is. I know, I know. I have to get gas. So you guys already know I, I, I run on E85 on the GTR. So I'm going to take you guys with me to get gas. E85. I won't make a big deal about it. I think you guys are tired of hearing my 85 thing. I thought it was a good joke. Apparently you guys can't take jokes anymore. You guys are so sensitive. All right, let's go get dressed. Turbo, you wanna say bye? You're so happy. You guys play outside today. All right, let's go. Lee, you wanna say bye? No, okay, fine. I think I have a good topic I wanna to talk about. It's gonna be a GTR on my Subaru, which the Subaru if all goes well, it should be done tomorrow. Question, do you guys like this lens? This lens is like super ultra wide, so it kind of distorts a lot of the picture. Makes my head look extra giant, and my arms look extra big, when in reality, I'm just a small Asian man. But uh, yeah, let's, so many damn bottles on my car. Let's hop in the car and let's, let's talk about this topic. Yeah? Man, this car is super loud on the first start. The RPM holds around like, 1700 yeah about 1700 when it first starts up so you get this kind of loud obnoxious startup my neighbors are okay with it luckily i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am actually legit nervous about doing this experimentation between two channels it's something very odd something very different and I don't know how you guys are gonna take it. I know you diehard fans out there, you guys are like, Mike, is your channel, do what the hell you want, but watch anyways, which you guys like, bottom of my heart, thank you so much for that, because it it makes me feel really good knowing that I can experiment with my style and not get like the repercussions of it, because like you guys are understanding that I'm doing everything the best I can. And I think this will be fun. But let's dive into the topic of 
What do I like more, my GTR or my WRX? I know I'm gonna get a lot of crap for this, but I love both cars. Okay, if I had to really break them down, I'll, I'll break them down specifically. Hands down, I love my WRX so much for multiple reasons, and it goes beyond just because it's a car. It's because it's a car that got me this far in my life, and I cannot not forget that it's gotten me this far. On top of that, the WRX has four doors. I mean, you guys know my love for practicality. It has four freaking doors. It has a trunk, which is amazing. <coughs> Although the GTR's trunk is actually pretty good. Um, the gas mileage obviously is very nice. And it has just enough power where you can enjoy the car, but not like kill your wallet at the same time. The boost is there. It boosts pretty early. It spools pretty freaking early. And overall, the car is just a lot of fun to drive. For the GTR, it is is a two door. It, it, it's you know it is four seater technically, not including these bars. But even without the roll cage, it it technically is a four seater. It's just really hard to fit people. You'll probably fit like two small ass Asians in there, two small ass Asian guys, or three and a half Asian girls, really small ones. Uh, but the car is smaller, obviously. It's a two door. Um, the trunk is actually really good, so I really approve of that one. Uh, the car has tons of power, even at stock. This one has tons of power because it was heavily modded. If we look at like the financial portion of it, uh, insurance is less on the WRX, um, gas is less on the WRX, and overall maintenance is less on the WRX. But remember, I, I understand they're both completely different genre of cars, but I'm just going based on my like experience of ownership on both cars right now. And I think if I had to like put a point over to which car I like the most, I would still say the WX because it makes life very easy, very easy. Although, although the suspension on this car is a lot nicer than the WX. So the WX is running on ISC coilovers. These are running on Olin's and it is really freaking smooth on this car. Iris even noticed the difference. Since Iris is my wife, I don't know. She's pregnant right now. So she feels all the bumps and rattles of the car. And as of right now, she prefers to be in this car, even though the WX is a little bigger. So what does that really actually mean? It, it doesn't mean that I don't like this car. If we had to compare just two cars I currently have, I know the modifications are different and everything. I would still say the WX is probably my favorite car in the sense of like, just overall, like overall practicality. Uh, the GTR would be my like very fun fucking car. I love this car so much. It, it drives so nice. It's so fun to drive. There's so much stuff to talk about. There's so much, so many things to learn about this car. So they're very different. So there's no like real solid answer. It's just a very generalized answer. And the generalized answer would be the Debra X definitely wins this, this little battle. You guys let me know in the comments below which car, like knowing my life, you guys, you know, you guys know me. I mean, I keep things pretty honest and open. You guys knowing my life, which car do you think like is better for you if you were in my shoes? If you were, you know, owning a WRX and the GTR, which car practically would you guys like the most? I know most of you guys are going to be like, Mike, I, I like the fucking GTR way more because it's a thousand horsepower. It's a fucking GTR, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I understand. I, I love this car just as much as you do, but I'm just kind of looking at the overall picture, especially as you remember, I'm a little bit older than you, and I I think about other things like, you know, I, I love to drive my friends around, so having the four-door uh, Subaru allows me to have my friends in the back seat and also be able to like have groceries in the back so we can eat the groceries, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but, you know, the GTR, obviously, when we hang out with everyone else, we are always taking two cars now because I want to drive this car, which means I can only take my wife and then my friends are, you know, stuck with driving a car next to me, which is fun because it's kind of like a little cruise every single time. So it's not a big deal. As soon as we go get gas, we're, we'll go head back to Primal Driven Headquarters. We'll ask Mike and uh, Jason what they think about both cars. I already know the answer. Most people's answers will be like, the fucking GTR, duh. You know, it's a... Uh, it's a fucking GTR. Yeah, I know. I, I love this car. I mean, I've been driving this a lot. Um, well, because the Subaru right now is being worked on. Oh, dude, if you guys are still watching, um, remember I got new headlights for the, the Subaru, the WX? The I'm getting projectors, and there's this new thing going on. I don't know if I can legally release it. I guess I can always edit this part out, huh? But <laughs> um, the projectors will have a tuner crate logo. 
that's pretty cool that is pretty freaking cool and there's not too many people that have it right now which so my car would be one of the first ones to have it i'm excited to show you guys so as soon as it gets in i'll show you i promise Ooh, and that's 2000 that paid for you made for you so for a range for you i take the flight alone earlier in the day for you just to beat you there prepare and let you know i'm waiting for you finally famous you guys have seen this part in my skits we are actually rolling into getting gas oh look gas is cheaper 199 for flex fuel 85 so let me see which side it's on it's on my right side i'm gonna pull in right into the shade that's kind of nice 199 for gas can't beat that man the last time i paid 199 was probably in 2000 2004 i think it was i was in high school when i first got my license 2003 maybe Got my license when I was 16. I remember paying $2 for gas. My first fill up ever. I was pissed. I think you guys have seen me fill up enough to know what's going on. I'm getting gas again. I fill up about two, two to three times a week because I drive pretty hard and I drive pretty often. We've got another E85 addict right there. If you guys see him. There's an evil right there. I see him. He's settling up on E85 also. You guys see here, it's $1.99 for E85. And I think regular, let me see what regular is right now. Uh, 87 is 263 all the way up to 283 which is the same price as a few weeks ago. In California, we only have 91 as the highest. A couple of race pumps, but 91 is the most common out here. You know, when I made those skits on E85, I didn't realize how many people were unfamiliar with E85. So that why, that's why my joke was kind of like right over people's heads because they're like, why the hell are you making a video on getting gas? It's because E85 is like, I wouldn't say, it's not new. It's just very, it's become very popular in the car community. It is what it is. I spent the total of 34.46 on 17.20 three eight gallons which is pretty freaking good um, make sure you shake it off if you guys shake it more than three times you're playing with it you got that <laughs> just kidding um, that's the, oh shit that's the gas right there all right let's head to primal driven headquarters some of you guys haven't seen primal driven headquarters in a while and i haven't actually seen it in a while either let's uh let's head over there here's a good question you guys were asking what kind of mileage i was getting i was getting um, 12.9 miles per gallon on E85 and that was with kind of like a mixed highway driving so it says my average speed was 17.3 miles uh, per hour but I drove it really hard on this one but right now I'm switching it over to map 4 which will give me a full thousand horse it says ethanol levels are 73 which is a lot higher than usual so it's good I'll reset this um, miles per gallon thingy and we'll see what kind of gas mileage we get. I usually don't worry about it because I know I'm gonna get shitty gas mileage anyways but we'll see. For those of you who have not been watching the second YouTube channel for a while. This is Primal Driven Headquarters. This is uh, where we do all our daily operations. And some of the last month's shirts are right here. We're doing our last batch of shipments right now for to end out August. These are pretty cool. I really like this one right here. This one is an LA one. This one's an NSX one. LA is in Dodge uh, Charger. But this one's like Fast and Furious inspired. This one's also Fast and Furious inspired Euro one. It's really nice. And then we have Mike 2.0's fresh ass haircut. Oh, dude. Look at you. You got a little bang going right now. Uh, I'm Superman, bitch. <laughs> Growing the bangs out. Nice. And then we got that's on. <laughs> this is the inside of the front room, which is our it's supposed to be our retail. What do you guys think? I think it's it's pretty cool. Uh, we talked about this forever, and finally it's actually coming into play. Uh, we'll fill it up with a lot of cool stuff. You guys know we're collaborating with Oakley and Nike. Uh, Nike. Nike. Um, update on that. I think we might end up going with Nike first as a first launch rather than Oakley. So we'll let you know as soon as we find out. But it's cool. I can't fucking wait. This is so exciting. 
Mike, so this, a question, this question today is on the Smurf and Beverick's channel. And the question is, what do, what do I like more, my GTR or my WRX? And the same question goes to you. Which do you like more since you've been in both? Which do I like more? Yeah, and I, I, for me, I answer it in the sense of like practicality. But for you, practicality, the GTR on like map one or two, because it's, you know, it's automatic. You don't have to shift, you don't have to downshift, you don't have to clutch, you can do other stuff. It's faster, it's a smoother ride than WRX. It's been upgraded very well. It has like top of the line everything, so it runs optimally. I mean, if you guys know, Mike's already told you guys that. It, it's mile per gallon rate is pretty good for having a thousand horsepower but on the other side the wrx is what has made mike mike so you guys asked too as if mike is ever gonna get rid of wrx oh he's driving the gtr too much no he's not getting wrx that's his baby that's his pride and joy that is still his toy and this uh, gtr is just his dream car i mean it's addition to what he has to his arsenal of cars that he's later gonna have so uh to i mean there's pros and cons to both the gtr dream car mike's always gonna he's gonna play with it for a while i mean dream car and it's being upgraded right now too wrx is also being upgraded right now too it's over at premium auto styling getting a whole bunch of little cosmetic work done so for me personally which do i like better i've been in both the gtr is a smoother ride but there was just something about it being a manual and wrx that just gives you that ugh but um yeah well for me personally i would drive the gtr more i mean if if that was my dream car and i attained that goal of course i'm gonna favor that car more as in i worked hard and i got it and now i deserve to be in it so i guess to be frank mike can do what the fuck mike wants to do <laughs> jason same question for you which one do you like and you're a subaru fan too so i like i like subaru and nissan you like the debrex more I like the GTR more, because I've always liked GTRs, especially the older ones. But, um, I don't know, man. I like the GTR. You like the GTR? I like the GTR. For good reason. I mean, it's a fucking beast yeah. of a car. Yeah, yes. I like it. What are you working on, anyways? Uh, decals for September. Oh, shit. No. Let me show you what Jason's been working on. So we yes. saw this at home earlier. And this is the, the new hang tag. So usually we don't change hang tags, but since it is kind of celebration of my birthday, I figure we might might as well kind of spend extra money on the change. But it has this really cool bunch of colors, Tuna Crate, Tuna Crate Collection, Happy Birthday, LA means a lot to me. And then, oops, sorry. And then there's that uh, signature right there. So you guys get a cool little signature with a new fresh ass hang tag for all of September. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Cars looking clean sitting there. But uh, we had a quick meeting, probably an hour, about just random stuff about tuna crate and fin oh, finalizing some designs and stuff. Current situation is I am heading home. I'm going to go ahead and go home and eat, feed the dogs, hang out with my wife. Assuming she's home, I think she went out with one of her girls. But if she is home, I'll hang out with her and I'll take you guys to the gym with me. You guys know how important the gym is to me because I used to be injured so much. And now that I'm healthy, I want to utilize. I never want to take my body for granted. That's that's pretty much the basis of the story is I never want to take for granted. If I'm able to, I'm going to be active. If I can't be active, I'm going to work worked out. If I can't play sports and I'll work out, you know, stuff like that is what if you guys have legs and arms and stuff, take advantage of that, man. Go out, be positive, good vibes run work out walk around because there's plenty of people in the world that don't have the ability to, ability to do what you do gotta 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 appreciate it man gotta appreciate it check this out i decided to do like an impromptu live stream it's about 4:35 right now and i'm playing need for speed the guys are over here i finally set up this mic right here yes yeah, say hi to the live stream say hi everyone everyone's on the chat room chat box right now the only problem is like I'm battling the audio here and the audio on the game. So we'll figure out the kinks as we go. Look, the chat box is going crazy right now. Everyone is saying hello. Look at this. That's freaking crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. Good job, guys. High five. 
I'm gonna end the live stream right now, and everyone's saying goodbye right now. Check this out. Cool. All right, bye guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Live streaming is such a good way to hang out with you guys. It's just like it's so difficult since I'm not a live streamer typically. It's hard to figure out like all the audio issues and like how to balance all the freaking audio. And I thought I got it down, but apparently I didn't. So the audio was kind of sucky. I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure it out for you guys so I can do more live streams. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But it's close to approaching gym time. I'm gonna stuff my face really fast before we head to the gym. Um, I'll take you guys with us to the gym because I know we used to. You guys remember we used to do 10 minute gym vlogs, man. Now we don't even do that because I don't know why we don't do that. Eh, whatever. Next scene is gonna be the gym. <coughs> Improvise. Oh, the machine's taken. I wanted to vlog more at the gym, but I got some stuff that really ruined my vibe, man. So this gym vlog might be. <laughs> the gym vlog might be a little shorter than usual. So since I haven't been able to eat very well, now I just pretty much got to look super swole. Lots of back exercises. Jamin has a headache. He's not smiling today. No smile from Jamin. Pool. And pool. Mike's over there with his wedgie. Mike has decided to lay on the floor and pull the rope to his face. Jamin is doing this and Mike's doing that. So we, we can uh, kill a bunch of things at the same time. I'm freaking tired. My nose is dripping. I just had to work out. We just finished. Now we're headed over to the treadmill. Me and Mike are on the stair climber and uh, Mike got in contact with a certain mainstream media company yes, yes, yes. that you know of, we can't mention yet. As soon as we get the appointment, we'll let you know. They're based in LA. We'll take a road trip. Most of you guys already know them, <laughs> uh, guaranteed. guaranteed. <coughs> they have a famous music artist that does their stuff. Mm -hmm. Does he do it anymore? A lot of oh, you feel at least. They work with a lot of celebrities. celebrities. Yeah. So, if it all works out, we'll have a meeting with them. We'll take you along with us. A lot of exciting stuff exciting. going on. Super excited. No, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What's happening? I don't know. I got home from the gym and I went directly to pretty much working. So I did, did a bunch of work, but I didn't film it. Um, bunch of disputes. If you guys don't know what about disputes, it's like people opening disputes for not like receiving their product, but all of their product been received. So I have a lot of fraud going on right now, which kind of sucks. I'm basically just listening to some music, uh, reading your comments right now. And thank you so much for leaving comments. I love reading them. They're like, the only thing I read these days, I don't read the news, I read your comments. Alexa, turn on lights. Hey, isn't that kind of cool? Okay. Cool little speaker, huh? If you guys are looking for a speaker, that is definitely a good speaker to have. It's not that expensive and it's freaking awesome for uh, sound systems and if you have like some smart bulbs it's a good idea too so this is day one of our experimentation with daily vlogging across two channels <coughs> and i'm kind of nervous on what you guys think about it i'm kind of excited about it but i don't know if you guys like it let me know in the comments below if you do it's a way for me to continue daily vlogging like you guys love on the media channel but spread the love over here but we get to touch on car topics more often versus me just kind of going about my day. I think it's a good way for me to get back into the car world and you guys to be entertained at the same time. But you guys, let me know what you think. I am always curious of what you guys feel on the content we create. Uh, a lot of cool things coming for Tunicrate and the media channels and the Smurf and Debrex channel. So in the meantime, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the other channel, Mike Quinn Media. And, oh, eight o'clock by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Upload every single day at 8 a.m. Yeah, share love with you guys, right? Cool, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow at eight. I'm gonna eat dinner real quick. Have a great night, good vibes, continue on working, and uh, make sure you guys are a better version of yourself every freaking day. Peace out. So I punched the camera again. And I dropped the camera so many times recently. All the punching doesn't do anything really. Uh, you guys think I'm punching it really hard, but I'm not. It's just making it super dramatic. I do these sound effects, blah! And I think my wife is calling me. Oh yeah, she is calling me, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Iris just wanted to know what it was for dinner. I, I didn't cook. 
I don't really want to go out. But um, the news that me and Mike talked about when we were on the treadmill today, actually we're on the stair climber, um, was pretty pretty significant because I'll mention, I promise I'll tell you their name as soon as they clear it, but it's a company that you guys have seen on TV for a very long time. Um, they want to work with us, which is really cool. I'm really happy about it. I don't know if we are able to do what they want, so I'll keep you updated. But when we go actually do the um, meeting with them, I'll take you along with us. And if we can film a little bit of it, I'll, I'll definitely show you guys. Uh, it's a pretty cool stepping stone for Tuna Crate. They want to work with Tuna Crate directly. They might want to work with Primal too. Um, so we'll see. And uh, an update on Oakley and Nike. Uh, Oakley is on pause just because of their supply chain issue and I don't want to get anything that we can't supply you guys so it might move over to Nike which is still just as good so we have some stuff designed out uh, we're gonna check their supply chain and if it's good there we're gonna go ahead and load up on some Nike stuff so I think it'd be cool uh, we have a Nike backpack in line to get um, some like build hats a black one and a tan one and I think we have a couple of like nice polos like really nice dry fit polos from Nike but those are the updates for you guys, and I know you guys say it to end to get some sneak peeks on good stuff. But uh, I might remove these ending part of it because um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like it, I'll keep it definitely. I do whatever you guys like. You know, that's just pretty much my thing. I do what you guys like. You guys don't like it, I remove it. You guys like it, I'm, I keep it. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna head to dinner. Cool. Thanks, guys. Big hugs. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are my diehards that watch to the end. Um, hit the like button and. Leave a comment. Tell me how old you guys are. I think that'd be cool. Just let me know how old you guys are. I'd love to read it. I read it all day. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Later.